what's up you guys, this is Rob from the Gay Guy Plays, and it is that time again to get on board the hype train, because we're about to get real toxic when we take a look at Saren Prime Access. So, following that insanely vicious trailer, Saren Prime busts onto the scene with a very interesting backstory, a pair of primed weapons, a new cape and sigil, and enough dangly bits to make even Hydroid blush. Now, I'm gonna include links to the drop locations in the description box below, because as you all know, I straight up bought this shit, so I personally have no clue where it all sits. Now, let's dive in. Starting with the least impressive of the bunch is the Spirit Prime. Now this one feels a little odd because it's actually got a lower base damage, shifting from a total of 55 down to 53. In addition, its critical chances drop from 25 down to 15. Where this does see bonuses is in its clip size, reload speed, which sits at a very sexy 0.8 seconds, and its status chance, and y'all know how I feel about that garbage. Statistically, I'm not impressed. Usually weapons that get primed have their best features accentuated, but in this case it feels a tad bit neuter. But I will say that I have yet to sit down and crunch the numbers, so we may be surprised at how an extra 2 in the clip and a faster reload affect its overall damage output. Now visually, I am in love with the holsters and all of the ribbons, they look fantastic, but that rotating unicorn horn doesn't necessarily tickle my fancy. And let me clear one thing up, while these may share the general shape of a butt plug, it's a bit of a stretch to say that they are. If anything, they look like vanilla chocolate swirl soft serve, so get your shit right. Now onto something that literally makes my balls quiver with excitement, the Nikana Prime. Now let me start with the model because shit, if I'm gonna be honest with you, both of the available holsters on the Dragon Nikana were just not doing it for me. So aesthetically, I am so fucking happy. Not only does the sheath look better, but the whole cloth texture on the ribbon, oh my god, I have just found my new baby daddy. And it doesn't stop there. The Nikana Prime sees a higher base damage from 85 boosted to a little over 95. Well, its crit chance has been increased to 20. It's also got a slight boost in attack speed and status, if that matters to anyone. Which it shouldn't. Regardless, this baby is absolutely amazing. My only complaint being that it's a bit hard to get a good look at the blade too often, which is sad because it's a complete showstopper. Now onto the woman of the hour herself, Saren fucking Prime, bitches! Now statistically, she's got a boost in sprint speed while both her base armor and base power pool have increased by 50 points. She also gets an additional V-slot, which is extremely handy as many of her builds revolve around duration or damage. As for the model, I will be honest with you, the initial color scheme was a bit hurt. However, with a few tweaks, you really get to see how badass she looks. While I love how her helmet flows into that mane of tentacles, I have to say that my favorite part is that damn skirt. It's got motion, and those ridges that wrap around the front give her a really powerful silhouette. And for those freaky deaky enough, you can go fuck yourself on the back of her heels. Look at those things. Oh, you so good. Now, I'm gonna be 100% real with you, I don't really feel like she looks as prime as the rest of her predecessors, and the white color scheme does throw things off a bit, however the overall look is pretty fucking sick. In addition, it goes nicely with her backstory, being created for the purpose of taking down the infested, using poison to combat poison. She gives off this awesome predator vibe and I'm definitely digging it. Now lastly, when it comes to the prime effect on her abilities, there really only is one, and it's these cool ribbons of energy that she emits during miasma. It's simple and pretty, however, I personally would have preferred something that looked a little bit more badass, but it's better than nothing, right? Okay, now on to the goodies in the accessory pack. First comes the Sykuda Prime Cyan Donna. Now, I like the form on this one, from the metal details that attach to the back to the double layering of the fabric, it's ornate and gorgeous. However, the way this thing moves is very similar to the Noru Prime Cyan Donna, which honestly feels like thick, stiff leather instead of soft, flowy fabric. It's got a serious case of flaccid dick flop. In addition, I love the silhouette this gives from the front, but I personally won't be using it myself. Next up on the chopping block is the Sykuda Prime Sigil. Honestly, at first, I was calling it trash. The effect itself was quite beautiful, however, I found the metallic detailing on it a little bit too thick. And that is when I discovered that the detail was tintable! Now that is not something you could do with the previous Prime Sigils, so it was quite unexpected, and I will be looking to slip it into a few of my current customizations. So all in all, I am pretty goddamn satisfied with this Prime access. Kinda wish they straightened out the stats for the Spira and the Sykuda Prime Sigil. Dino was a little less floppy, but aside from that, everything is pretty fucking spot on. Sarah looks badass, and we finally have an Akana with a sheep that I don't hate. Now, I've got a bunch of things to review, so leave your comments down below, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye